Welcome. This is the console killer, and welcome to my tutorial for Hagane for the Super Nintendo. This is part one, and I'm just going to try to cover everything as it appears since I haven't played this in a little while. I think I beat it a month or a few months ago, so fairly recent. And I'll break down some of the practice um, techniques and things that I used as well when I get a chance, because these videos are kind of short since they're one level at a time. They weren't designed for uh, commentary, so I try to fit in what I can. Maybe add some tips at the end of the video when the level finishes. But yeah, for now, um, I'll just try to, to narrate as appears, try to remember exactly what I did. But yeah, this part's pretty self-explanatory. One thing I did was um, I practiced all the different sections of each level using save states. So I'd highly recommend playing on an emulator and, and saving state before each section until you're comfortable enough to beat that section without losing a life. You know, just try to get comfortable with it. Maybe try to go through it three times in a row if you want to be thorough, but just do it to where you feel comfortable with it. And then, you know, a lot of levels won't take a huge amount of practice like that. And then just go back and beat the entire level legitimately. Because you have infinite continues, so, um, you know, you can keep playing the level until you get through. But it's good to learn each section. But yeah, here I'm mainly using the sword here, and, you know, you just want to be fast at taking out the enemies as they appear, taking out those guns. And let's see what's... Yeah, for this... This part you have to watch out for these um, these worms that come out of the ground, but you know if you move carefully, you shouldn't have too much trouble with them. The enemies above are pretty annoying too; they drop a lot of shit on you, so it's you know you want to watch out for that, obviously. But just try to kill what you need to to progress. You know, don't waste your time fighting things that you don't really need to fight, unless you want to get some you know some items or something like that, ammo. You do get health sometimes, like you see there, so it can be good sometimes. Yeah, and this guy's pretty, you know, pretty basic. Just, you know, get a few slashes in, retreat, wait for him to attack, come back and, and get a few more slashes in, and just uh, rinse and repeat. And he'll go down quickly. I am actually watching these videos um, again to refresh my memory as I'm doing the commentary. So um, I may have to actually analyze what's going on before I, I try to give tips, you know, because I don't remember everything exactly until I see it again. Yeah, this is where the worms come out. Yeah, they, they actually weren't in the last segment, as I thought. But yeah, this, these, these guys are, you know, very easy. But if you advance too far without being careful, you know, they'll come up and hit you. And it's not worth taking damage on them. Because I think this section is fairly, you know, it's not that short. So you don't really want to get hit on, on shit like that. The jumping in this game can be a pain in the ass. Because it's, it's uh, you do these very high but narrow jumps. They're not great. And, um... For some reason, this game has a weird issue that you'll see later where if you try to jump close to edges, you'll often fall off the edges. It's very it's very touchy with that. I don't know what it is. The Ripper999, he played through this game as well on his channel, and he, you know, he had the same issue that I had, so it wasn't just me. It's a great game, though. I mean, I don't like it as much as Shinobi, but it, 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 it's very similar to Shinobi in some ways. It's, it's actually a very good game. But it's a little short. But um, the last few levels are definitely challenging, you know. It doesn't get too hard until a little bit later. But there's some bullshit on this level, too, though. There's, some, there's a hard part on this level that you'll see. But, yeah, you just want to kind of play carefully, take out the guys that you think are going to give you problems. You know, switch your weapons. Use the, the shurikens when, you know, the guys are far away. I like using the shurikens a lot in this game because they're, you know, they, they reach far and you can kill a lot of things before you get to them. Now, this level, I think this is kind of a bullshitty area that I was thinking about. Yeah, this level, this level's kind of bullshit. You could try to memorize this shit um, and, and know where all the pits are, but that's not what I did. What I did was 
Um, I mean, there was a bit of memorization involved, but also a lot of luck when I played this. Uh, I pretty much just, I used that air roll um, very often, and, and that allowed me to, like, bounce off the edge of the screen like that and bypass, you know, a lot of the pits. Or at least it gave me enough time to, to jump to jump and then go over the pit when I landed. I just found that, that that's what ended up working for me. It's not a great technique, but it was what got me through it, and then, you know, and then I, I ended up beating the level. But, yeah, that part's a pain in the ass, so definitely practice that part with safe states. If you're going to practice a part, I'd say practice that because it's pretty bullshitty. And try using those jumps, as I said. Just try getting in a rhythm with them until you get comfortable with it and you can beat the level a few times in a row. Don't just beat it once in practice and then figure you got it, because then you're going to get to it and most likely die again and lose all your lives. So, you know, try to go through it at least three times in a row on, on that one part. That, that's a, it's, it's tougher than it seems, even if you beat it. You know, it doesn't mean you have it down. Now, this guy's pretty basic. You know, definitely always use all, you know, use your, use your bombs, especially if you're at the end of the level, you know. Cash them all in for all, all the damage and just, you know, basically just hit him as he comes into range and try to dodge his attacks. You know, not much to say with that. But yeah, that ends part one, stage one of the tutorial, and um, next up is stage two, so stay tuned.